So in the first part of this course, we saw several examples of topological spaces. Now we will see the notion of continuous maps between these, uh, which will help us study their topological spaces, their topological properties later on. So, uh, so this lecture is about continuous maps. Uh, so, definition. continuous map so let let x and y so the definition is a very simple one be topological spaces and let f from x to y be a map of sets So, we are just given a map of sets between x and y and x and y happen to be topological spaces, they have topologies. So, we say that f is continuous if for every open subset v in y. So, recall what this means. So y is a topological space and therefore it has a topology tau. So, we say that v is open in y if v belongs to that topology tau. The, the set f inverse u v which is contained in x is open is open in x or <clears throat> yeah in short given an open set in y its inverse image should be open in x. So, recall uh, the meaning of the definition of f inverse v this is those x in x says that f of x belongs to v. Okay. So, let us see some very simple examples of continuous maps. So, uh, let x be a topological space. right and consider the identity map so this f from x to x and it is given by it's the identity map so it's f of x is equal to x right so we claim that f is continuous So, to see this we need to let u b be an open subset. So, what we need is f inverse u should be open. So, then f inverse u, but f is the identity map. So, this is simply equal to u. f inverse u is just equal to u. Yeah. So, therefore, so as u is open in x, this implies f inverse u is open, this implies f is continuous. Okay. So, this is a really silly example. So, let us see a slightly more complicated example. So, let x be a topological space. Okay. I, mean, I do not have to write this always. So, let x and let y contained in x be a subset and we give y the with the subspace topology. So, let us denote this inclusion map by i. Okay. So, we claim that then, so y now has a topology which is a subspace topology coming from x and of course, x is has a topology. So, we can ask if this inclusion map is continuous. So, then we claim that 
i is continuous right so what do we need to do so let u contain x be an open subset then we need to show that this i inverse u is open in y in the subspace topology right but i inverse u is simply u intersected with y by definition yeah so uh, i mean what is i inverse u i inverse u is those y in y says that i of y belongs to u but i is simply the inclusion so this same as saying that y belongs to u right so therefore i inverse u is equal to u intersection y <laughs> so this shows that i is continuous this inclusion map is continuous uh, let's take a third example so this it's the same example as above so let x be a topological space and let i from y to x be an inclusion of a subset So let tau be a topology on Y. So here we are saying tau is any topology on Y. It need not be the subspace topology. For instance, tau could be the discrete topology on Y, for example, or it could be any other topology on Y such that, but we have this condition such that the map I is continuous. Okay, we are given that this map i is continuous. Okay, so then we claim that tau contains the subspace topology. Tau sub y on y. Okay. So, we are given that tau is a topology on y says that the inclusion map is continuous and we need to show that tau sub y is contained in tau. Okay. So, how do we see this? So, this is easy. So, uh, since so let uh, u be an element of tau sub y and recall what the subspace topology was. This is okay. let us call this v. This is the intersection of all u in x where u is open in x. u intersection y, sorry, not x. Where u is open in x. Right. So we have to take, we are given that in the inclusion is continuous when y is given the topology tau. So what this means is, uh, and we have to show that. So, tau sub y is contained in tau. So, we just we start with any v in tau sub y, and then there is u in x open such that uh, u intersection y, which is precisely equal to i inverse of u, is, is equal to v. This is by the definition of the subspace topology. And now, as i is continuous, uh, this implies that i inverse of u is open in tau. That is, i inverse of u is an element of tau. Right? But i inverse of u, as we have seen, is just equal to v. So, this implies that v belongs to tau. 
So, thus we have proved that tau sub y is contained in tau. Right. So, the point of this example is that, so this example, so let us make a remark. This example shows that the subspace topology on a subset y is the smallest topology which makes the inclusion maps con map continuous. Right. We have proved that if we put any topology on y for which the inclusion map is continuous, then that topology contains the subspace topology. So, in other words, the subspace topology is the smallest topology which makes the inclusion continuous. Uh, Let us see a similar example. So, this is 4. Mm. Let x i for i in i be be a collection of topological spaces and consider the product with the product topology. So, uh, recall what the product topology was, recall that uh, this is the topology generated by the basis B equal to such that A u i is open in x i and b when we look at the cardinality of those i's for which u i is not equal to x i this cardinality is finite. Okay. So, uh, now from this product, so we have natural maps projection maps so this is sorry 2 x j right what does do so we have an element over here that looks like x i for i in i and we just send this element to the j -th coordinate x j and so these maps we shall denote by pj So, we claim that these projection maps p j are continuous. Right. So, what do we have to do to prove continuity? We have to take an open subset in x j and show that the inverse image of that open subset is open in the product topology. Right. So, for this let u contained in x j be an open subset. Right. So, then uh, p inverse u so what is p inverse u? p inverse u is uh, P inverse u is a subset of the product of x i's, is a subset of product. So, this is p j inverse u, sorry, and it is e exactly equal to p 
is exactly equal to. So, uh, those elements x i says that the jth coordinate is in u. Right. So, in other words, uh, in a, so note that if Okay, so we can write so note that we can write Pj inverse of u to be equal to it is actually equal to a product ui where uj is exactly equal to u and u i is equal to x i for i not equal to j. Okay. So, if i is not equal to j then x i can be anything and if i is equal to j then we need that x j should belong to u. So, that is that is a description of this set p j inverse u. So, you can convince yourself that this is correct that is an easy exercise and uh, clearly. So, clearly this is in B right. What is B? B is this correction because each of the in P j inverse u each u i is either x or it is u, u is open in x j and each u i is either x i or u, u is open in x j and x i is obviously open in x i and this collection i in i says that u i is not equal to x i, this contains only one element which is j. So, in our case this collection x i is equal to just this one j and which has finite cardinality. Okay. So, therefore, this p j inverse u it is in b right. So, and which is contained inside tau sub b right the product topology generated by b. Okay. So, therefore, so this implies that thus the projection maps are continuous. Okay. Uh, now, similar to the earlier excess, the earlier example, let us show the following. So, uh, let tau be a topology on this product of x i s such that all the projection maps uh, are continuous. So, then we claim that that tau contains the product topology. So, let us denote the product topology by tau sub p okay, or prod. Okay. So, uh, how do we see this? So, first note that so let so if B is the basis basis that we define for the product topology. 
for this product topology and product ui is an element of b right so for this element so let j be equal to the subset of those i's for which u i is not equal to x i. Yeah. So, then cardinality of j is finite by our definition of this set being in b. So, notice that uh, what we can do is so this product. So, note that this product i in i u i it can be written as the intersection of j in j p j inverse of u j. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so, I will leave this as an exercise. This is left as an exercise. So, for instance, if we have u1 cross x2 cross x3 and so on, let us say our i is z okay, and we have topological space x i or not, not z, let us say natural numbers for each i in n. So, then this intersected with x1 cross u2 cross x3 cross and so on this is equal to u1 cross u2 cross x3 cross x4 and so on. Yeah. So, this is rough the basic idea. So, using this we can easily prove this assertion in the square. Okay. So, we will use this. Right. So, now, uh, our aim is to show that. So, we need to show that the product topology is contained in our topology tau. right? So, using the earlier result we had proved result or let me just say yeah, using the earlier result we had proved, it suffices to show that this basis B for the product topology is contained in tau. Yeah. But the basis B, every element, so now let us pick up an element if this product u i is an element of B, then using this identity, we can write it as u i is equal to the intersection, a finite intersection because the cardinality of the subset j is finite u j. Now, each p j inverse of u j is open in tau as the projection maps are given to be continuous. right? So, each of these sets is open and we know that in a topology finite intersection of open sets is open. Since a finite intersection of open sets is open, this implies that this intersection j capital J is a finite set. So, this is open. So, this is in tau which implies that this product u i is in tau. So, this implies that b is contained in tau. This implies that tau product is contained in tau. Okay. So, uh, so therefore, so similar, so in view of the above,
we see that this product topology is the smallest topology we can put on on this set product x i for which the projection maps for which all the projection maps are continuous. Okay. So, this product topology has this nice property. Okay. Uh, Okay, so, let us say make some, some more remarks. Now, we will uh, explain why the box topology is not such a great topology. So, uh, uh, so, let us see a natural map. which is not continuous when the product is given the box topology. So, let me explain. So, we take x equal to r and r with the standard topology and for each natural number. So, by natural numbers I mean the set of integers positive integers uh, let x n be the topological space r with, again with the standard topology right. So, uh, consider the diagonal map. So, this is the map from x to product n in n x n. So, what does this map do? It sends x to x x and so on. Okay. So, this is the diagonal map. Let us give it a name, let us call it delta. So, we claim that if this thing, this product is given the box topology, then <coughs> delta is not a continuous map. So, this is just one example. Uh, so, for instance, so in the so how do we see this? We have to construct a, a set which is open in the box topology, but whose inverse image is not open in X. Yeah. So, for this, consider the set so we can look at this set. Okay, so, let me just write it as u n contained in the product, where each u n is a set minus 1 upon n comma 1 upon n. Okay, so, then one checks easily. Uh, so, this is open in the box topology. In fact, it is in the basis B 1 which we defined mm. and check that delta inverse of this set u n is just equal to singleton 0 which is not open in x. Yeah. 
So that's the map delta. It's not open. I'm sorry, it's not continuous. If this product is given the box topology. And uh, I will end this with an exercise. So, let x be a topological space. Okay. And uh, let x i be equal to i for i in i, i is any set and so then consider the diagonal map this is a diagonal map and give this the the product topology now. So, then show that delta is continuous. Okay. In order to show prove this exercise, we will need the following lemma, which we will prove in the next class, but you can try it if you want to. So, let f from x to y be a map of sets between topological spaces x and y right let b be a basis for the topology on y if f inverse v is open for every v in b then f is continuous. Okay, we will stop here.